struggles but if you learn anything from anything that we go through then it's that little bit more worthwhile it's that little bit less painful I've been looking back at the year that was and I've been compiling 20 lessons that I'll be taking with me going forward but in this video I would like to chat about five of them that are very close to my heart in no specific order Number one, habits, not goals. Nothing wrong with goals, nothing against them, nothing against resolutions, but systems are more important than the outcome because it's the systems, the habits that get you the outcome. Um, goals are great to point us in the direction, but once you have them, it's important to take them away and then focus on your daily habits and making sure that you are doing the most you can in every day, doing the most you can uh, in focusing and picking which habits you have and removing the ones that don't serve you so that you are moving towards your goal. And then who knows, you might surpass it, you might not even end up at the same goalpost. But if you focus on the game, the score will take care of itself. Number two deeds not words so simply stated actions are more important than what we say if you read all these books uh, listen to all those podcasts watch all these videos and apply none of it then what is the point having the greatest library that you never go through and pick a book out and apply those lessons is meaningless it's vanity so this year, instead of um, speaking a lot about stuff and reading a bunch of stuff, I want to teach myself more by acting with experience. Yeah. Spend money, not time. There's only so much time in the day. Yes, it's cliche, but there really is only so much time in the day. Time is still a resource you can't get back. At least no one has figured it out yet. So. I'm still learning to address problems that I can with money so that I can back the time so that I can do things which I care more for doing or be with people I care to be with instead and something I really want to focus a lot of energy towards uh, rather yeah get number four seek mastery humans from as long as we can look through our history, have been craftspeople. Making things is so rewarding. And that's kind of a theme for me this year, is making things, showing up and sharing. Um, but deeper than that, seeking mastery in something is far more rewarding than the thing you're seeking mastery in because it slowly starts to bleed back into the rest of your life. It's like when you do a sport, uh, or your martial arts, and then practicing it instills discipline in you. Practicing it gives you wisdom that you can use through the rest of your life. You get to see yourself through different seasons and have something on the other end, something deeper, something that you've immersed and given your energy to, which gives you back energy and confidence. And five, um, review, refine, and remove. You know, like I'm doing now, looking back on the year that was, hindsight is 2020. And unless if you look back and examine what you've been through, it isn't easy to learn. Um, so I'm doing this throughout my life in the form of video, in the form of journaling so that I can see which things are serving me best, so that I can refine, add more energy to them, 
and those things no longer serve me so that I can remove those troubles from my life. And I want to do that more often going into this year. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Be you, be great.